What is going on, Bucks fans? Evan Wanish here back at you with yet another video talking about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And today we're going to be going over the Wednesday injury report for the Buccaneers before their matchup against the Chicago Bears this Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. The Buccaneers home opener in that game versus the Bears. So should be a good one. But without further ado, let's get right into this injury report. Now, I will say before we do <laughs> dive right in, um, it is Wednesday. It is early in the week. Some of these guys will, their statuses will improve. doesn't mean all these players are, you know, in doubt to play or anything. It's just, it is notable that they're on the injury report. They have to be on the injury report. If they have an injury, you got, you got to list it. So the Buccaneers, uh, Carlton Davis was listed with a toe and did not participate in practice. Christian Isian was listed with a concussion, did not participate in practice. Kalaja Kansi listed with a calf, did not participate. Todd Bowles did say that Kalaja Kansi will be probably day to day. Um, he re-injured that calf uh, in the Vikings game after coming back to practice last week. He also missed last week's Wednesday practice, so we'll have to wait and see if he's able to practice uh, tomorrow, which is Thursday or Friday. That'll be pretty telling on his status for the game. But uh, uh, regardless, because you can't see out for practice today. And then Baker Mayfield uh, with a right shoulder. It was full participation, but again, like I said, if you have an injury designation, they have to put it on there. So even though he was a full participant, didn't miss anything still have to put on there with the shoulder which is a tad bit concerning because like shoulder injuries is what baker mayfield dealt with in cleveland a lot of the time so it's a little bit concerning but after only one game especially but hopefully he's okay as for the bears uh josh blackwell with the hamstring was limited as well as dylan cole with the hamstring was limited and kyler gordon defensive back with his hand uh did not participate I believe uh i read somewhere i think it's a broken hand for, for Kyler Gordon. So um, most likely not going to be playing this Sunday against the Buccaneers. So with that being said, though, taking a look at the Buccaneers injury report, obviously if all three of those guys on defense, Davis, Izzy, and Canty can't go, it's a pretty big blow, especially Davis. I mean, Davis played really well. Izzy was really good too, but, Carlton Davis played really well and their depth at corner, which we've talked about is not very good. It's very inexperienced and it's, um, it's a significant drop off. It, it really is a significant drop off from, from your starters. And this is one of the questions I had this season. How are they going to be able to respond when a guy goes down with injury? Like we've seen Carlton Davis and Jamal Dean tend to do sometimes. What are they going to do when, um, how is this, these backups going to respond? Right. And I think that's where the Buccaneers could get themselves in some trouble. They are a very thin team. They, they just are. There's not a lot of, proven depth you're going to be taking a lot of chances on a lot of inexperienced young players who are most likely going to make a lot of mistakes so hopefully carlton davis can go uh match up there uh versus dj Moore for chicago as for christian isian this one's a little bit more up in the air because it's a concussion and we know the nfl with the concussion protocol he wasn't i don't believe he was taken out of the game at all on sunday i'm not sure when it came up uh, but uh, with the concussion protocol, I would say maybe his status is a little bit more up in the air than a guy like Carlton Davis per se. And like I said, with Kalaja Kansi, I, I do think it was probably a mistake to bring Kansi back when they did. I didn't think Kansi was going to be ready to be thrown into game action. I was fine with him practicing. Uh, him practicing on Thursday and Friday, I figured, okay, cool, let him get his feet wet. But him being active for the NFL game, his first game action after not practicing or playing any football for like a month, it felt a little rushed to me. Uh, and they re-aggravated the injury, the calf injury. So hopefully he's not out longer term. Hopefully this is a shorter term thing. And hopefully they take it more cautious with him this time. So if I had to bet, I, I would say Kansi's probably out. Uh, for Sunday. Again, this is a Wednesday injury report, so it is very early in the process, but I would say Canty's probably out. Obviously, Baker's fine. Uh, I'd say Davis probably goes and Izzy's up in the air just because with the NFL's cushion, concussion protocol policy, you don't really know how that's going to shape out. But as for the Bears side, you know, Kyler Gordon being there and, and most likely being out for this game is big because he's one of our top corners. So Mike Evans, Chris Godwin could get a pretty favorable matchup and the Buccaneers offense still trying to find their way would be pretty nice if all those guys could have a big game for the Bucs offense. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you think any of these players on the Buccaneers injury report, do you think any of them are in danger of not playing? 
let me know. Did, did you agree with uh, Kalaji Kansi potentially playing after practicing and, and everything like that? Did you agree with that decision for him to play? I personally didn't. I want to hear your opinion, though. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Also, let me know who you think uh, could stand in for these players if they were to miss time. I know there's a lot of people who uh, like a, a few guys on this team, um, specifically you know, in, in, this, in the secondary. Guys like Zion McCollum, I know I've been under fire a little bit. Good special teams player, though, but we'll have to see. Maybe he gets some time at corner if Carlton Davis does miss some time. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think any of these guys' statuses are in danger. Like I said, it's Wednesday. We'll have another injury report for you guys tomorrow, which is Thursday, and we'll see how it uh, transpires later in the week. So with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe, and go Bucks.